brace yourselves for some wondrous rehearsal. All aboard, mateys, for the joy that is Alchemy Hotel. My name is Sam Thornley. I am, by all accounts, including my own, I am the most old, grey, shriveled, wizened, walnutty warlock of a man, and I have the great fortune to be the lead singer of this band. Yeah, so I'm Lord, I'm Lord Sevron, and I joined the band about six or seven years ago when I rose from the depths of Hades in a great burning inferno. Um, I met, I met, uh, I met Sam back at, uh, I actually, I actually met Sam and Greg at, back at a Grateful Dead concert, it's like, 73. And a lot of people don't know this, but, um, I actually joined the band, uh, just two weeks ago. So, I used to be a monkey, just about till like, I was about six months old. Uh, my dad adopted me from the Franklin Park Zoo, uh, hence my last name, Franklin. So... He, about when I was about eight months old, he installed this computer chip in my brain. It made me grow into a human, although I have to say, I am hairy all over. I still have a lot of characteristics of a monkey. So yeah, that fight between uh, Greg and Sam, I was like, what are you guys even talking about? Like, what is this even about? Was, they, after some song, it was like, um, oh, somebody told me that's what it was, yeah. <laughs> The ending fell apart. What happened? Yeah. Everything fell apart when Sam started messing up at the bridge like he always does because you are a mess up. You I'm stink. fed up with this idiot. You stink. You're wrong. You stink. No, I don't stink. You're wrong. You You're stink. Nihilist. So we just got back. Back from this big, big, big world tour. And we were all over the place. We were in Canada and everything. So this one point in Canada City, Sam just goes crazy and storms off stage complaining that he just can't work with us anymore. And so ever since then, tensions have been running pretty high in the band. I have two more strings than you! You're terrible! You know what this is! Well, you have two more strings and two, two times less of power! Right now. God. You're fired! Greg and I have a huge dispute. He feels that his prima donna attitude should take precedence over my skill and artistic merit. I mean, I'm a phenomenal artist, renowned in the sciences and the mysteries of alchemy. Oh, the I am the man! You have no I'm soul! The singer. Yes! I'm the front man of this band and you cannot fire me! I, I am the best! Not the best, the best! I'm so good at guitar! Like, why does no one realize this? I am the heart and soul of the band. It's just the egos. It's unreal. I. They have to work with people of this caliber. They're not good musicians, first off. That's just a fact. Jesse, just, I don't understand his purpose in this band. It seems he just, he's just there and he tells us what to do. Stop, stop, get up, get up, go, go, get away, and Sam, do it again. I, I just feel like, I, like he doesn't play, he doesn't play with us unless he needs to. And he just kind of tells us what to do. I feel like he's like monitoring us or something. That's from Amnesia. Yeah. It came as a shock to everyone when I just appeared one day. 
because their former drummer, his name was also Ryan, which kind of threw people off. But uh, yeah, he w his name his name was Ryan Fleming, and uh, he was a, he was a, he was a good drummer. But I thought that he needed to be a better drummer, so I took him to my house one day, and then told him he wasn't the drummer anymore. I had to break the news to him, and the guys didn't know this, but I came in the next day with my beanie and everything. Just got on the drums and started playing. They they seem to not notice at all. Wait, that's not Ryan Fleming. Guitar part up. You call yourself Lord You're like Sephiroth, one giant but you are a whiny prima donna. Pink pie. Are you you mean from no, when I was a teenager back in the 17th century? I am old. I assure you, I am old. Back when I was a teenager, I started learning the guitar and the ukulele, then the percussive pan flute, and eventually my interests burgeoned, and I became the skilled genius that I am today. Uh, Thornley, Sam Thornley, the kid claims he's more than 700 years old. I, I'd like to see a birth certificate. So ugly, that's a that day I shave shaved my head, but I'm not sad. That's not I even what we're doing. Me. We're not doing I'm that. Not you need to learn I've the heard. songs weird to me before you scream to me yourself. I know the songs. Thornley, I don't think he's ever known the song. He's the lead singer. He doesn't know what songs we play. Um, there's been multiple times uh, in rehearsal myself. Craig, Lord Severon, James, whomever, has reminded him that Sam, we're not playing that song, buddy, we're playing a different song, so why don't we focus up here? He does pretty much whatever he wants all the time. I'm a leader of this band. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. I lead this band. Uh, I'm Ryan Fleming, and uh, I'm one of the best things that's ever happened in this band. I'm going to shoot you straight right now. They think that they can go on without me? Without me? I started this band. Me and good old Bill Dusky back in 69. Who is Ryan Fleming? Welcome to Paradise! This chip in my brain constantly monitor monitors me. It uploads everything that I do is stored on it, and it's uploaded to a cloud, and I can recall any memory. Camera rolling? Jesse! Jesse! Jesse, is it rolling? Every once in a while I wake up, uh, I wake up in a cold sweat because I have this image of Lord Sevron just walking over me, a shadow just relentlessly walking. I... And I usually side with Sam because, you know, Greg, he's, he's a little weird, you know, we, uh, we think he may have a problem. Help me, Jesse, well, I'm Kenobi, you're my only hope. <laughs> Name brands at discount prices, town fair tire. We were playing. He's going left, right, you know, he's playing the bass pretty well. It's, it's not like he's not playing well. And then he just starts walking. He, he opens the door, he walked out, he put rehearsal on hold for an hour. I couldn't, I don't know where he goes. We don't even ask him. When he gets back to rehearsal, we don't even ask where he's been. We just. We just walk on back, he keeps playing. He acts like nothing's happened, so we're not going to ask him anything. But when he gets into that mode where he's walking around, you can't stop. I don't know where he goes. So I'm really, really excited about the future of this band, even though I hate mostly everyone in it. So I'm really excited for where this band is going. Uh, we started out pretty good, but we blew up ever since uh, that Canada tour. They've never been to Canada. We plan on touring Canada. Now, Lord Severon thinks this is his idea, but in reality, I have subtly implanted the, the seed of thought in his brain through the use of an ingenious mind chip, a scientific concoction that I have invented in my secret lab of doom. I don't know what the future of the band will be without me. It'll probably just crash and burn, you know, because I, I am the band. Canada, the Yukon, Guatemala, and ah. Uh, You know we've got we've got a new album coming out, Alchemy Hotel Next Exit. We're gonna we're gonna go on the Today Show tomorrow actually, which is gonna be pretty cool. And then we're gonna go on a world tour. We're gonna go beyond Massachusetts. We're gonna go beyond this basement. We're gonna go beyond Canada City and Canada and everything. We might even go to Guatemala. I, I have to. There's nothing. I mean, I'm not even in the band. I direct the band, but I have to leave. 
I can't be around him anymore. The, the hatred, the fighting, it's just all too much. I like Josh, though. What? We're going on tour in Canada, and then we're going to voyage across the Yukon, through the great expanses of Siberia, through the north polar areas of the world. Severon may not be returning from the trip. To make my story somewhere